At 10, I see Denver going offensive line. Andre Dillard from Washington State is an excellent player, terrific in pass protection. I could see Denver going with Andre Dillard. At number nine, Buffalo might go with Dexter Lawrence, a defensive lineman from Clemson. Lawrence is getting solid comments after the combine. There is enough momentum for him that I think he can overcome some of the things that people have alluded to that might be red flags like PED suspension. But I think that the Bills who need help on the defensive line could be looking towards Dexter Lawrence. At number eight, the Lions could go with Cleveland Farrell, defensive end from Clemson. Ziggy Ansa hit free agency. The Lions are going to need some help up front. Farrell is terrific. And some of the traits that I think he has, I think, fits what the Lions want, in particular with Matt Patricia. At number seven, I think Jacksonville could be looking to the offensive line. They need to sure some things up up there. But Montez Sweat on the board right here. I think he's been too good in this draft process to pass up. So from Mississippi State, on the edge to Jacksonville, Montez Sweat. At number six, the New York Giants have got to address the quarterback position. Now, they might do that through a trade. We don't know. But if they don't, Dwayne Haskins is a great option right here, the quarterback from Ohio State. He's a developmental guy that at some point in his career, I think, might have the top upside of anybody in this draft, at least at that position, the quarterback position. He's got a great arm. He's smart. He works hard. I think he could fit nicely in New York. And number five, Tampa Bay might be looking to the defensive line. Rashawn Gary from Michigan would be a great option there. I love how Gary can play all four positions on the defensive line. He's shown that ability throughout his college career. Tampa might look on the offensive line, but if they don't, I think Rashawn Gary might be the pick. At number four, with the Oakland Raiders, I like Josh Allen, the edge player from Kentucky. He's terrific. And with Bosa already off the board and getting most of the headlines, I think Allen's got monster upside. He's quiet, but very athletic and long. He's going to be a force on the opposing backfield for many years to come. At number three, the New York Jets looking on the defensive line and really looking at best available here, Quentin Williams from Alabama. I think he's viewed by many, including me, as a surefire pick in this draft. Maybe one of the only ones along with Bosa and maybe Murray. But he can stuff the run. He has excellent pass rush ability from the interior. This dude's a monster. So with Murray going number one, Bosa's got to go number two to San Francisco. The defensive end from Ohio State is an absolute freak rush in the passer, and the 49ers are going to run to the podium to put his name in. Nick Bosa to the 49ers. With the number one pick in the NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Kyler Murray, the quarterback from Oklahoma. There is not a quarterback that I can remember with Kyler's combination of passing acumen accompanied with his dynamic playmaking ability with his feet. It's just second to none. The guy's outstanding. There's not better tape that I've watched in a few years. Let's just put it to you this way. If this guy was six foot and not five, ten, and an eight, everyone would be talking about him as the second coming of maybe one of the greatest prospects that we've ever seen. That's how good his tape is and how dominant it has been over the last year. He needs more time, needs to develop a little bit, but rest assured, if you take Kyler Murray and put him in your backfield, you're better next week.